Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 15 of Get Good at Battlefield 1. And in this entry, every single gameplay clip used has some element of superior positioning or repositioning in order to give me the upper hand in gunfight or aid in my survival. Your job is to spot what it is I'm doing in the clips that perhaps wouldn't be obvious if you weren't looking for it. But first, let's begin with me explaining something to you with the use of some basic estimations. So say I'm going to run straight down this lane towards that corner and I'm going to meet someone there for a gunfight that neither of us have prepared for. I'll estimate that with the gun skill I've built up over years of playing FPS games, I have maybe a 75% chance of winning that gunfight against whatever random opponent comes around that corner. Now let's consider that perhaps that player has a weapon that's better in that scenario than mine, maybe a shotgun or an automatico. So we'll knock 5% off for of that potential situation. Now let's say that, that opponent happens to have a teammate following around that corner, which isn't that unusual with the squad spawns, so we'll knock 10% off for of that. Now how about we'll consider that there might be some lag that goes against me, say 5% chance for that. Then finally, what about if that player just hits something unexpected like a lucky no scope or a weird grenade throw? 5%? Alright, that means I now have a 50% chance of winning that gunfight. You might say that it's all too convenient that I've come out at 50% chance, and I agree. These are very basic estimations, but you now get the point, right? Why would I constantly take on 50-50 gunfights when I can hugely boost my success rates by using positioning, and in some situations, repositioning? Superior positioning can include using cover, taking the high ground, using a position that isn't often checked in terms of playing norms, setting up from an alternative angle from your teammates so you know you have an unchallenged shot in a team fight, choosing a position based on your weapon, patrolling an area to secure the next sentry weapon, you, you get it, there's loads, the list goes on. So how about repositioning? Well repositioning is incredibly key to my gameplay. It aids me in getting off a safe reload, breaking line of sight with the enemy to kill them from a different angle, a confusion tactic, like for example, it's extremely easy and effective to bait a player into thinking you're either running away or haven't noticed them, hit a corner or a doorway and then instantly turn around to catch them running after you. Again, the list goes on. The true key value of repositioning comes in the form of breaking in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight where you can plant a seed of doubt in your enemy's head as they attempt to work out your whereabouts. Or, in a fight where you're outmanned and need to switch position in order to get the drop on the enemy in several quick one-on-one -on -one gunfight situations that you've created by changing your position. It's a head game. You're playing the enemy by changing your position so they never know where you are, giving you the upper hand over and over and over again. Effectively implementing successful positioning and repositioning into your gameplay will aid you more than I can possibly express. Over the years it's transformed my in-game ability and it can for you too. It's a mindset that you have to get into. It takes time and isn't always successful, but it's absolutely worthwhile working on it. My advice would be to constantly think, what won't they be expecting me to do? And also to play as if the opposition has just been told where you are by a teammate at all times. It forces you to think. I really hope this helps. I hope you're able to spot some of the positioning and repositioning in my gameplay. If you enjoyed the video then please hit that like button. If you're new around here then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Laters.